Okay, we're here with the Pentar LA01N booster pump. Welcome to the premium content. In this video, we're going to break down this whole entire pump. We're going to show you how to change the seal, how to remove the impeller, how to remove the pump bearings. We're going to show you what tools you're going to need to do everything. And we're going to show you what parts needed. And we're going to have a couple whiteboard sessions where we shall give you a parts list and stuff like that. All right, so now that you've disconnected your Pentar LA01N uh, pump from your pool system, you can place it on your workbench just like this. Now, if you haven't done so, and you're watching this video maybe first before you removed it, be careful removing your pump. And a few things to remember is always shut the power, okay? You don't want to mix electric and water. That's very bad. Okay, so now let's just say you have your pump on the table. Now, the first thing you want to do is we're going to we want to remove the seal housing, okay? So we're going to go over, a fir uh, first we're going to go over a couple of things on this pump so you can kind of learn, like, what these things are. So if I refer to it in the video, like, wait, wait, what do you mean? All right, so here we go. This is the capacitor cover, okay? Under here is there is a capacitor. At some point in the video, we're going to be showing you how to remove this capacitor cover and how to change the capacitor. You may have a Polaris pump that is buzzing or humming, and it wasn't yesterday, and now it's buzzing and humming, and you're like, oh, I thought I saw that guy Joe's video, and you could change your capacitor. That's true. Sometimes your motor won't need a full rebuild. It might just be buzzing and humming, and you might just need to change your capacitor. All right, the second thing is your wet end, which is this part right here, your plastic, always on a pool or spa or booster pump, a uh, pool cleaner pump. The plastic is usually your wet end, and the rear part of it is usually your motor end, okay? So we're going to be showing you how to take apart the motor and also how to be rebuilding the whole complete wet end, which includes the impeller, the seal, the seal housing, and then the seal seat, okay? So there you go. That's a little lesson right there. 